when you ferment your daily meal, for example, if you ferment your daily meal before you feed your cows, you get to increase what we call microbial proteins. This is how it works. You get your dairy meal today. Assume your dairy meal is 14% crude protein. Like the dairy meal you would get from Pembe, the ordinary one that is 14% crude protein. If you turn it into silage, or in quotes, or you ensile it or predigest that dairy meal, within 24 hours, you will upgrade it from 14% to 17.5% crude protein. And you will want to know where is this extra protein coming from? This extra protein is coming from the trillions of microbes that multiply inside that dairy meal. They break down the microbes, they break down the nutrients and make them more available to the animal and then offer themselves to the animal through that daily meal as microbial protein. So microbes degrade the, the daily meal. And then after the work is done, they offer themselves as food to the cow. The increase in the protein is as a result of what we call microbial protein. And at this juncture, I want you to know, naturally, a good cow makes between 2.5 kg, pure kg of microbial protein to 4 kg of pure microbial protein every single day from the microbes that have worked, degraded feed, and then expired and offer themselves to the animals as microbial protein. Any protein you package in the feeds of your animal is only supplementing the protein that the animal makes for herself through the process of internal ensilement or the process of fermentation. So you only supplement and always know that in feeds, protein is the most expensive component. But we, when you use a product, we have a product called Mola Plus Livestock Microbes. When you use it to, to when you use Mola Plus Livestock Microbes in your dairy meal, you increase the, you you turn your dairy meal from ordinary dairy meal to high yield dairy meal in 24 hours at a cost that is less than 10 shillings, Kenyan shillings. Because when you introduce a small percentage of microbes in that dairy meal, they start multiplying every one and a half hours, they double. Every one and a half hours, they double, they double. And before you realize, you have so many trillions that have doubled, and then they remain inside there as feed for your animal. Again, so you introduce microbes, uh, you inside your feeds, whether it is hay or napier grass, you ensile it to increase microbial protein in it, to increase beneficial enzymes that are as a result of ensilement, to increase vitamins, and to unlock the nutrients that are packaged in the fodder material that you give. Uh, so you enhance the nutritional value. And then, very importantly, you get to mitigate against the challenges of aflatoxins and mycotoxins.